What's going on guys, Clint here with Classic Firearms, and guys, I have got a very cool pistol here in my hands that I'm very excited to talk to y'all about, and this is the Springfield TRP Operator, otherwise known as the Tactical Response Pistol, and this guy is a heavy duty, durable 1911, pretty much designed to get you out of those oh crap situations in a hurry. And I gotta tell y'all, I am more than impressed with the looks of this gun. I mean, just initial thought is it's beautiful. I mean, take a look at that, that gray blue frame and what they're calling their armor coat job, along with that armor coated black slide, the black controls, and, and then again, made it with that G10 grip and that texture and that look, I think is just gorgeous. All of that, and I think a seriously cool package. So let's just talk about this guy really quick, because I myself, I'm a fan of 1911s. I love them. I love the history, I love the culture behind them, right? And uh, I know they receive a lot of maybe love hate on the relationship type, or on the uh, internet, and uh, which is completely fine. Everybody is entitled to their own opinions, even if they're wrong. But ultimately, guys, what you've got is a now over centuries old design that has been modernized by Springfield and now applied in a more tactical um, appliance, I guess you could say, which includes that Picatinny rail here, which is great for any mounting any types of lights or lasers, which if you ever shot in a nighttime setting with night vision, trying to pick up your three dot isn't always gonna work. So having maybe something that's IR, something along those lines, great, 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 great option. Let's, uh, let's talk about this guy some. So ultimately what we have is a heavy gun. <laughs> I will say that it is a three pound when loaded pistol and you can feel that for sure, which maybe in a everyday carry situation wouldn't be ideal, but for a home defense situation, something that's gonna be done in a uh, short amount of time, I would say this is actually a pretty good option. All right, now let's just start right up here at the muzzle here, the barrel on this guy. It is a thick stainless steel national match bull barrel, and you can see how thick that boy is for sure. Take a look at that, just in, <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a thick gun and you can just see the thickness of that barrel right up front as well You do have a full length also uh, Guide rod as well stainless steel and then you've got the slide and the frame which is also a national match Precision fit slide and frame and so whenever you get this guy are no loose parts like Nothing even the safeties and everything are so well into well in place You don't hear them wobbling or anything like that when I'm shaking this thing. So very nicely done by Springfield. Also what they've done to the uh, TRP operator here, they went ahead and threw on some tritium night sights as well. Very fine dots which are going to be easy to pick up and also offer you a precise sight picture. And they're fully adjustable. So if you're shooting a little to the left, go ahead and make those adjustments right at the rear sight to straighten you out. Nicely done. Also what the slide has to offer as well, and what I'm also a big fan of, forward serrations. So you can go to get that press check on if you're a press checker out there like me. Okay, coming back a little bit further, we also have the skeletonized trigger, which has about four and a half to five pound trigger pull on it, which I did test with our Lyman trigger pull gauge. And my first reading was at a 4.11 pounds and then 4.3 or four and 11 ounces and four and three ounces. So right where they said it was gonna be, I'm satisfied with that. And speaking of which, let's just go ahead and ride that trigger right not because it's a 1911. Those single action triggers are sweet. So let's gonna go ahead and take a look at this guy. You'll notice a little bit of take up on that skeletonized trigger just before you hit that wall and then that drop. Beautiful and of course the reset, barely anything. Oh my goodness, it just throws you right there. Talk about a gun that just wants to be ran. Uh, speaking of skeletonized trigger, you also get your skeletonized hammer as you can see right here. Again, weight cutting set, or I guess you could say uh, weight saving uh, types of implementations here. Do you have the extended beaver tail as well, so you get that positive grab on it. So you'll see this that sticks out some, so there's none of that. Maybe I have a good grip on it. You will have a good grip on this gun, especially with the aggressive textures on these G10 grips. They feel amazing, along with the forward checkering on the grip, so or at least on the front side of the grip there. But I will say this, if you're shooting for any amount of time barehanded without gloves and shooting a 1911 with gloves can be a little challenging just because they're a little bit smaller controls than uh, most modern guns, 
but no big deal if you practice enough you'll learn how to get through that pretty easily and become pretty efficient with this guy. But I will say shooting it barehanded for any amount of time, you probably will start to realize uh, that your hands, just from me gripping it, you can probably already see where it's starting to dig into my hands a little bit. But ultimately uh, what you can do is just toughen up and run the heck out of this gun because that's what it wants and that's what I'd be happy to do. And of course in a situation where it's uh, Let's just say uh, your life is depending on it. I don't think you're going to be too bothered about what you might be feeling in your fingers. What you're going to be worried about is whether or not your gun is going to be working reliably. And I don't think you're going to have a problem with the TRP operator here. A couple other things I like about this gun, other than the grip, other than the fact that it's a 1911, other than the fact that it's got the tritium sights and also the Picatinny rail, skeletonized trigger and hammer, and be safety as well is the fact that it already comes with your magwell extension that's beveled down here at the bottom, which makes for those clean, easy reloads. It makes it a little bit easier for those errors like I always have, right? Get that thing right in there, makes it a little bit easier. So you drop that, come up, there we go. Makes it a whole lot easier to get that in. So definitely a fan of those extended magwells for sure. All right, and again, I wanna hit on that Cerakote or what they're calling their armor coat job with that blue-gray frame. I cannot get enough of this pistol. It is beautiful. And like I said before, it is a heavy guy. This is an, a forged upper, or excuse me, forged slide and forged frame, matched fitted. Uh, that's going to be a little heavy. So again, a three pound, fully loaded carry weight. Keep that in mind if you're thinking about this as a carry gun, which, hey, if you can do it, more power to you. I don't have any doubt that, well, I, sometimes carry one of my 1911s fully loaded. So there's that. I do love these guns, guys, and I think you will as well. So head on over to classicfirearms.com, check these guys out. Comes with two seven round mags that you see right here on the table and also a pretty nifty carrying case as well that can have all your range accessories or needs right here in the bag if you just wanna do a uh, one gun range trip, have your ammo and everything right in your range bag. And of course, a nice little 1911 patch because who doesn't like patches am I right speaking of which we sell those so you should go buy a couple all right I think I'm going to call that the video here guys again the Springfield TRP operator 1911 45 ACP 5 inch bull barrel tritium night sights beautiful pistol can't go wrong with this guys at all so again head over to classicfirearms.com Check out our full lineup of Springfield pistols, including the TRP operator, and check out our current giveaway as well because uh, it's pretty sweet. And I think it would pair nicely with this guy. Just saying. So head over again, classicfirearms.com. God bless. We'll see y'all soon.